Hey guys, Rod Sanger of Cardi Security. Welcome. Today, we've got this exciting new project. This lovely 1971 Mercedes 280CE, which belongs to a very good friend of mine, Clive, AKA Spiky Curve. We'll drop that down below. Now, what are we doing to this? Well, firstly, let me tell you a little bit about this car. This is a W114 model in this lovely moss green color. It's actually a very much a stock OEM car. And uh, as you'll no doubt see, nothing's been done to it. It looks factory fresh. I know Clive has spent an absolute fortune restoring this car. Engine, gearbox, all other bits and pieces he's done. There's been a lot of welding that's had to be done to get the car into this state. Um, we had the car here last year, I believe. We pointed out some areas of rust. He's gone away, had that rectified, and now has brought the car back to us. So, moss green, lovely black leather interior, stock OEM wheels, these lovely white wall tires. Now, what are we doing to it? Well, we're actually doing something which is probably going against the grain a little bit, but you know what? It's got to be done. Okay, so what are we doing? Well, there's two stages. First stage, we are bagging this Mercedes. You heard right. We are gonna slam this car on the floor. Airlift 3P performance management, a compressor and a tank. Customer has supplied his own struts, so we'll be using those struts. They're brand new, box fresh. We'll show you those shortly. That's stage one. Stage two, at some point in time, the car will come back and we'll fit a cool audio system to this car but initially it's all about the airlift. So we're gonna get this car in the workshop. I'm gonna hand it over to our technicians, Jay and Sam, who will do their magic. It's a little bit above my pay grade, but I'll leave them to it. And they'll talk through the process of what's involved. They'll talk about the struts. They'll show you obviously the airlift equipment, the compressor and the tank, the lines and so on. Hopefully it's straightforward. It is what best part of a 50 year old car. So sometimes things don't come off as easily as you'd want them to. But I'm sure my guys will look after the car and ensure that it's done correctly. Dot the I's, cross the T's. So without further ado, let's get this car in the workshop and let's get on with it. Ignition, but still fairly small. And then that's where your plug goes. Ah. And then your lines. And that's it. Okay, guys. Um, Mercedes W114 in for air suspension and airlift management. Good customer of ours. He wants to bag his vehicle. So we're doing a nice clean boot install in this. I'll show you the interior bits, what we're doing on the vehicle at the moment first, and then we'll move on to the strut side when we get to it. So at the moment, we've got to a stage where the wiring is in the car for the airlift management. Um, wiring can run through the car into the boot, which we'll, we'll show you in a little while. Airlift controller. So this will do all your controls for the air ride. Now, if you follow me through here, there's not much space to mount it as such. Customer wants to keep it OE as possible so it can revert back to original if needed. In this aperture here, belonged an ashtray which simply clips off. So what we're gonna be doing is mounting 
removing that, making a new panel so it will sit his air lift controller just underneath his radio so while he's driving he can keep an eye on his figures, it's easily accessible and he can just keep an eye on it, that's that. Speaker locations on this vehicle, there's one in the front so we're going to be adding some sort of speakers in the front here and through the back of the vehicle you have a look through there you've got the rear shelf now originally this car would have only come with a single speaker in the middle someone's obviously added the two other ones a while back so we're going to revert that back now and we're going to hide two speakers and build them a new parcel shelf so when you peer into the vehicle it just looks like it's got the center grille which would be just for show so when we get to that stage and making those bits and uh, we'll show you how that goes Going. It's going. Rear's done. Oh yeah. Um, just got to trim these down. Now I'm just running the lines. Um, I haven't figured out where I'm going up into the car yet. So you think most of the hard work's done? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Nice. Looking good though. Yeah, get there. The it's end is near. It is near. <laughs> Cheers, dude. Sorry. See you in a bit. Guys, time for an update on the Merc build. So this is my friend's Mercedes 1971 Merc, uh, which he's commissioned us to do airlift performance and do an audio upgrade. Hi Sam. Hello. Sam's busy working away. Um, I know Jay's already updated you guys with some of the bits he's already done. We're probably, Sam, do you reckon less than a day before it's finished? Yeah, I mean, could be by the end of today. But. Okay, we've already the car's already been slammed on the floor, so we know the airlines are in place. We're now connecting everything correctly, and then we've got to do um, some leak tests, uh, and then we've got to set the height sensors up. So there's a little bit more to do before we do handover. There's a bit of commissioning to do, but you know, I thought it's, I did say at the beginning of the video that I'll come in at some point and give you an idea of what we've done. So Sam, to our audience, what are you doing there? Um, just currently plumbing the whole system up. So obviously, as you said, everything's completed Watch underneath. Um, just finishing off plumbing the system up, just putting the airlines in, the wiring's done, so all the compressors are wired in. It's literally now just the airlines. Um, so now I've got to cut them because they're on valves instead of 
being plumbed into the system, so I can just kind of drop the car like that. Okay. So I have to cut him if you want to see what it looks like down now. No, I don't. Uh, no, no, we're, we're not going <laughs> to. We're not, not going to show you what it looks like yet. You'll have to wait till the end of this uh, uh, episode to show you what the whole build looks like and what the car looks like when it's slammed on the floor. Um, so you're completing that. Uh, you've explained to the audience exactly what you're doing. Uh, thank you very much for Sam for that. I'm not going to keep you too long. You crack on. Uh, watch your head. Um, let's talk about the inside. So when the car came to us, it had this, I believe it's aftermarket rear shelf. It came with one stock speaker from factory, but previously an owner had uh, cut into the shelf and fitted two Pioneer speakers in there. Now, it didn't look right. And the owner requested that we sort of trim this shelf or uh, make it look a little bit more stock. So what we've done, and I will show you that, is we've built a new shelf, put the original grill back in place, which is in the center of the rear shelf. But now we've got two focal ICU 165s shallow mount fitted on the rear shelf. So we brought it up to 21st technology in terms of speaker tech. The front only comes with one speaker on the dash uh, in the center. And I think we've got some, we could probably overlay a picture of what the dash looked like initially. We've used a Powerbase 4x6 inch speaker, um, had to make a trim panel to fit that into place. And then we've made our own grill to match the top of the dash. And you can see what we've done there. Now, in terms of source unit for the audio, we could have used the original stereo, but it wouldn't be too good with these aftermarket Focal speakers. They need a bit more power. The customer's actually given us a period correct Becker Grand Prix. This is radio only. This is a 1970s stereo. So there's no USB or DAB or CD in that. But again, this won't power the audio. And in fact, this stereo doesn't work. It doesn't even illuminate. The customer wanted us to maybe use a Bluetooth adapter. The problem with those Bluetooth adapters, they in inherently bring in noise to the vehicle. So there's a lot of interference. This has no pre out so we can't even use an external amplifier. So the guys have come with uh, an ingenious idea and have fitted an aftermarket stereo, not there, but in the glove box. So now what we've done, we fitted this Kenwood um, Bluetooth mechless stereo, which will allow the customer to uh, stream music directly from his phone, Android or iPhone, to the stereo, which is connected to the new speakers, 50 watts per channel. Um, you've got FM radio on there as well. You've got USB, so you can charge your phone now as well, which is very convenient. And obviously, when he's not using the stereo, the glove box will be closed. Nobody will know there's actually an updated stereo in the car. This section underneath the see if that closes yes this section underneath the stereo is where we will mount the airlift controller so we've built this panel in-house the airlift controller will be mounted there and the customer will be able to control the ride height of the vehicle uh, if he needs to slam the air or uh, slam the car or if he needs to increase the ride height if he's hitting a speed hump he can do that literally from arm's reach so for me that was just an update of where we're at Excuse the mess behind me. The workshop is going through a, a massive overhaul. And in fact, tomorrow, I mean, this video is probably gonna go out in two weeks, but tomorrow we're having the mezzanine floor go in. So next time you see the workshop, it's gonna look super cool. Uh, guys, this video hasn't ended here because there's still a little bit to do. And then we're gonna reveal the car to my good friend Clive at the end of this week. Um, he hasn't seen the car. He's seen a snippet of what we've done. Um, and we're not going to give you too much uh, snippets now because we want to keep that for the reveal and show you what you can do with a 50, yeah, 50 year old classic car. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Continue watching and then I'll be back in a few minutes once I do the reveal. Collection day is here. Clive, the owner of the Mercedes, is here. Clive, come into the shop. Hello, Clive. Hi, mate. He's here with Groovy, because he feels like he's rather groovy. But I think once he sees his Merc, I think the groove's gonna have to come out. You're gonna have to do a little bit of a jig or a dance or whatever, Clive. Yeah, I'm, uh, I may have to change my name to something else. Yeah, so um, <laughs> obviously I've seen the car, and it looks 
freaking insane. Um, Clive's yet to see the car, so um, are you ready for this? I've been waiting, I've been come waiting. On, let's, do on, let, let's, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Let's let's think do our it. audience have been waiting long enough as well. So this is a project that's taken a little bit longer because once the project was delivered, we had to stop work because the workshop uh, is going through a massive renovation, but the project is now done. Ooh. The car is here. Ooh. Ooh. There you go, Clive. That looks sick. Do you, do you need a moment, Clive? Oh. <laughs> Oh, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I've had it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's had his moment. Oh, that is amazing. The way it sits. So I know you did say you didn't want too much negative yeah. camber. Yeah. So, um, and that's Sam, perfect. Yeah, Sam and Jay have done a great job of ensuring that it hasn't got too much negative camber at the back. Obviously, we can adjust that. So if, yeah. you, if you want a little bit more, if you want to drop a little bit lower, we can do that. But ultimately, have we delivered as per your more than delivered, okay. more than delivered. The car looks absolutely perfect. That's how it should sit. Not much negative camber, if any at all. That, that's, that, that's just... I, I've got to say the stance on this is absolutely That killer. is how it should come from factory. Yeah. Look yeah. at it. That is amazing. I love the way it's just stealth. Yeah. You wouldn't know. No, you wouldn't know. It's a sleeper. You wouldn't know. You wouldn't know. When that's rised up, you yeah. wouldn't know. I think you might need to put a V8 in there, so it's a proper sleeper. I know about that. <laughs> <laughs> I know about that. This is for cruising and just looking cool in. Well, that is really nice. Bro, right. your key, sir. That is brilliant. Thank Thanks you very much, much. man. No, Thanks no. for all your hard work. Thank you for allowing us to work on this. Your pride and joy, because I know how much this means to you. Yeah. I know how much work you've already put into the car and some of the ideas you have. Um, there are some additional touches that we've done that you don't know about, that you've not requested, but my team, knowing that you're a good friend of mine, thought, you know what, we're gonna push this build way past your expectations. So we'll, we'll show you some of that. So there might be a few more ooh, moments coming. So ooh. I don't know if there's any left in the tank ooh. for another ooh. one of those moments. Right. Um, so let's, let's show him the car, and uh, then we'll see him drive off. I, in fact, I don't know if you can drive off because there's not enough fuel in here. Sorry, uh. sorry, sorry. I Touchy understand. subject at the moment. Yeah, yeah. But um, let's have a look inside and let's see what he thinks of the build. So it looks like there's nothing there. <laughs> oh, God, that's low. Oh, whoa. So yeah, so yeah Jay sorted you out a little control amount here. Oh. Uh, and he's done this as well? Yeah. Oh. Right, we are done. Uh, my good friend Clive, obviously blown away by his 1971 Mercedes 280C, slammed on the floor. Looks killer, I'm sure you'll agree. Obviously, we've added some additional touches with the audio and the installation. Now, as always, a like, very, very important because it helps the algorithm on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel, there's loads more content coming. Any questions or comments you have, throw them down below. Any questions about uh, the airlift for this particular vehicle or for another Mercedes or a different brand, throw them down below. Any questions on the audio, again, throw them down below or DMS, all the information at the end of this video. Um, now from me guys and from Clive, until next time.